What's up? My name is Linus and welcome to Tech Select. In today's video, we are talking how you can get your internet speeds, improve your internet speeds and get them from, you know, very low speeds like something like this to something more better and stable to something like that. And also in this video, we are looking at how you can get more reliable, more enjoyable internet. Now, this video is especially dedicated to all those that are using Leica Mobile in Uganda. Now, to improve your internet speed and also improve your internet uh, experience, you are going to need a simple device. But before we get to figure out why you need a simple device, let's go to a little bit of science. Now, your typical phone will be about this size. This is the case for my phone. So it's going to demonstrate. Imagine this is a phone. So your typical phone is something like this. Now the antennas on your phone, if, you're, if they're generous like Apple, will go around, you know, the edge of your phone. That would be the antenna of your phone. For Android, sometimes they just do a small strip at the top here, and that is where your antennas will be found. Now, such a small antenna, many times will find it hard to pick up signal, especially if you're living in a place that generally has bad signal. Those that are on Leica Mobile in Uganda, Airtel in some places will attest to this. There's some places where the internet is just lousy, totally unusable. And then, you know, you just end up with this very small antenna trying to fight to pick up the signal, which is already weak. Now, for those using MiFi's, you will have noticed sometimes your MiFi in the same house can work in this bedroom. And then when you cross over in the other bedroom, it's not working. Reason being still, even on a MiFi, the antennas are normally small strips at the back that are just teeny tiny little things. So sometimes if your signal is already weak, you're going to end up with a bad experience with the internet. One, you'll have very slow speeds. And two, if you're using a MiFi or your phone, they're going to run out of battery quickly because they're really trying to pull in that signal that keeps jumping on and off. In order for you to improve your internet experience, you just need one device, and that is over here. Ah. Now, in my hand, I'm holding a TP-Link wireless 4G router. Now, we're going to dive into why exactly this here can take your internet experience from being really lousy to something very, very stable and nice. Now, let's just get this out of the box and I get to tell you how this here will physically improve your internet experience. So the device is out of the box. This here is exactly what you get. Something small like this, black and beautiful. Now this in my hand is a 4G router. That means you'll be inserting your 4G SIM card into this device and then it will be the one that you know picks up the signal, processes it and then gives you a wireless connection. If you're using a desktop or a laptop and you want a wired connection, you also get some beautiful ports at the back. Now, how? does this device improve my connection, you may be asking. Now, you see these two ears over here, these little fingers that fold over. These here are your antennas. Now, these are 4G antennas. So it's through these two antennas that it picks the signal from wherever it is and then inputs it into this device. Now, if we are to compare what I said earlier, if let us say you're on Android and uh, you know, you, your antennas are just at the top. Let's say if this is just, you have an antenna strip up here. Maybe let's say they're put two, maybe there's an antenna strip at the top here and maybe another one at the bottom. Or let's say you're on an iPhone device and they've done the entire outer, you know, lining of the phone as the antenna. It still can't beat the size of this. This here alone, you know, just the single antenna here is almost actually, literally bigger than almost the one you'd find in your phone. So normally, <laughs> bigger is better. The ladies can, mm -hmm. can confirm this. Well, the bigger your antenna, definitely the better signal you're able to capture, and that will also ensure you have a better connection because the connection between you and the tower that you're picking internet from will be stronger. Now, why this device is highly recommended by me is 
it also has detachable antennas as you can see i've removed this one over here so if you're really in a bad network spot you can just connect an external antenna now here it will be a long wire that will plug in here and then you get an external antenna similar to those that you know you use for your go tv or star times set up like that they're called yagi antennas but you have to particularly buy one that does 4g now you can put that raise it on a pole all the way up and even get much stable connection so the bigger the antenna you have the better your connection to the internet and that gives you a better experience and it is amazing just like our sponsor oduka.com now oduka.com gives you amazing gadgets if you're looking for internet connectivity gadgets such as this home router or even a MiFi for your pocket if you're mobile, then definitely check out www.oduka.com. You can place your order in the morning, receive your item the same day, and also we have deliveries to places like Mukono Wakiso and Tebe. Oduka.com is your number one online store. Use the promo code TechSelect when you're checking out for you to get amazing discounts on your purchase. So um, this here is the TP link. Of course, you can get others, but now um, the quality also matters of what exactly you're picking up. There are so many of you know other devices that may work like this, and then you buy it and get to a place and it's not working as beautiful as you'd expect it to be. Now, always make sure you're looking at wherever you're buying your products from. Make sure it's a genuine supplier and they're supplying you genuine products. Now, if you're buying this, remember this here is a home router, so it's going to be plugged into your power it does not have any inbuilt battery into this so you can't go walking around with this so this here has always got to be plugged into the main so if you're mainly home and let's say you have you know you're using mobile data let's say mtn airtel whatever it is in my particular case in here is like a mobile i don't know if you can see that so this here is where my like a mobile sim card is going in and uh, it just goes into the tray in the back and then you are good uh, to go so based off my own experience with this particular device here back then when i just got on my like a mobile sim card i put it in my phone and i must say the experience was really really horrible in that um, sometimes you try even watching a YouTube video and it couldn't load I wouldn't even be able sometimes to read basic web pages because the network was really really bad at my place so sometimes I would even just give up and maybe end up with other carriers I'm using like a mobile in this particular as an example because so far in Uganda I think they're the ones who still have the the lowest infrastructure and they're still building it you know they're still building on it so hopefully it'll be much better in the future now when i landed my hands on this device over here my experience has just been overwhelming like i've it's been overwhelmingly great in terms of this so i put my Leica mobile sim card in here loaded my data bundles as usual and now i really I, sometimes i don't even believe that i'm still using Leica to be honest i can be on my phone two other people on the same wi-fi network my pc on streaming netflix on the tv or even online gaming all this at the same time and i'm still using Leica it is just crazy just how one device can get your experience from not so good to really, really great. Now, if you buy this here and your experience is still not good, your speeds are not yet that very stable. Right now, Leica Mobile is pushing four to five Mbps. In some places, sometimes even reaches six, seven Mbps. Uh, but if you're not getting anywhere close to that and you're still in the one, 1.5, just know you're not picking enough signal. Then if you're not picking strong enough signal, then definitely your connection between you and the tower will lag hence making your, your your connection really really slow so in that case then i would advise you after buying this buy an external antenna that i talked about earlier put it on a really long pole hang it out there and then plug that in here you just won't believe just how better your connection will be by just these simple you know methods and these simple devices helping you out so if you like this kind of content, the tips, the tricks, the reviews, the DIY, all these and more, go right now, hit the subscription button, notification bell so that you are alerted each time I drop a new video on this here 
channel it's been awesome chilling with you on this particular video make sure you check out all my other videos that i've dropped in right there you can see the cards over here and also remember to share with a friend let them know that this channel does exist and i highly appreciate those that do like watch and share my content thank you so much for watching and i shall see you in the next one bye bye